Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yes, it's finally here. So what we're going to review today? No, it isn't a Guinness, but it is a beer from a brewery based in Dublin. This is Whiplash Brewery and this is their Bone Machine IPA. Cracking artwork, but can this live up to the expectations? Where are you going to drink the best beer on St. Paddy's Day? Could this be it? Check out the review to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing a beer from Whiplash. Now Whiplash are a brewery based in Dublin, they're a small brewery um, and I thought I'd have this beer for a while if I'd wait until St Patrick's Day to uh, to crack this beer open and give it a review on ultimately the day that you know it needs as much promotion as it wants. I mean how many people you know I could have, could have done a review of a Guinness or a Murphy's or something like that but everyone's drank that before and let's face it if you want to drink those beers and you want them at their best you go to Ireland and drink them don't drink them in England because they're not as good they're never they're never going to be as good so I wanted to try this one this is Whiplash Boom Bone Machine IPA it's got port, pale malt oat malt wheat malt brew one equinox and cascades quite a lot of different things going on in here I love the artwork I mean when, as I said when I first saw this I thought God, it looks a bit like sort of like how Fish or uh, or even Peter Gabriel used to uh, dress up as. I don't know who, if that is supposed to be someone. I think it's obviously some sort of cyborg, but I think it's a really great picture. I really, I really think that's good. So this is six point two percent. Let's get this beer out of a glass, out of a can even, and into a glass. I don't even know a drink yet, and see what it's all about. Yeah, well, I can already smell that it's certainly got a nice fruity aroma. So, beer in a glass. Yellow, hazy, two things of head. But that's not the colour that we want from St. Patrick's Day, is it? Let's try that again. Now that's more like it. That's a proper St. Patrick's Day beer. Look at the colour of that. Perfect emerald green. Perfect for St. Patrick's Day. So, let's get some aroma, shall we? Yeah, it's got real big tropical sort of notes of pineapple, mango, mm, papaya, passion fruit even. Oh, it's, it's just like a real sort of hotbed of, uh, of a fantastic uh, tropical fruits. Maybe even a bit of kiwi in there, considering the colour of it. Yeah, looks cracking. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, that's really nice. Really big, strong flavours of pineapple, mango, citrus fruits in there as well. You've got lemons and limes. A little bit of sort of papaya and passion fruit. It's, it's a, a basically all types of, um, of tropical fruits in there. And it's, um, it's really uh, got a lovely soft mouthfeel, low levels of carbonation. I mean, it's very much in the vein of a, of a New England IPA. Look, absolutely tastes really great. Yeah, I mean, that's got a really soft, soft mouthfeel. And really, the carbonation is nice and soft. It's not, there's no sort of fizziness at all in it. It's, it's real, and it's, um, so what was the alcohol in it? 6.2%. Drinks so light, it just feels so light when you, when you, you know, on the tongue because of the, the softness of the, I mean, obviously all the sort of, uh, the pale malts, the old oat malts, the wheat malts in there, um, all, all of that sort of, oats and, and wheat in there it just really sort of gives it a real soft profile um it's a cracking beer i think it's a, a really good good beer to drink on st paddy's day it's lovely and fresh it's big big flavors of pineapple i mean yeah i mean the sort of flavors it conjures up doesn't make me necessarily think of ireland of course because it's just very, very tropical. It's it's almost the beer that you want to drink on a hot summer's day. So if you're in, I don't know, 
the Caribbean on, on St Paddy's Day. This is a beer to drink, you know. You know you're drinking Irish. Um, and it's a real nice fruity flavour. I think I've drank enough. Let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for Whiplash Bone Machine IPA with that cracking sort of almost cyborg um, image there on the, on the can. Really nice. I love the fact that it's nice. You know, it's got the ingredients all very clearly marked on there. We've got Brew One, Equinot and Cascade. You know, an interesting sort of collection of hops, really. It's not something that you see. I mean, Brew One, yeah, that has got real characteristics of pineapple. Um, but you don't see it that often on, on a lot of beer. So I'm glad that they've done three different hops. And there's lots of oats and wheat in it to give it a really great body. But first things first, aroma. Well, I think that Brew One really sort of... Um, really comes through in the aroma because it's really strong pineapple. Then you've got this sort of, it leads into a sort of, you can get the mango in there, you can get the papaya, those sort of sweet, juicy, tropical fruits. Um, and then there's a little bit of citrus, but it's really all about the tropical uh, aromas there. And it's really, really nice. Smells really fresh. I'm giving it 14 for aroma. Appearance. Well, look at it. It's perfect green and emerald. It's, it's the ideal beer for... Uh, uh, for St Paddy's Day. Um, so, it's, it's, surely it's going to get a 10 out of 10. Of course it has. 10 out of 10 for appearance. Flavour-wise. Well, I mean, the aroma sort of leads it on to be, yeah, having that sort of going to be a pineapple sort of flavour. And it, and it has got that pineapple flavour. But it's not overpowering the pineapple. It's not overly sweet or candied. It's a real fresh pineapple flavour. Then you've got a bit of mango. And then, you know, I mean, and that's that's just good, you know. It's just because of it's got an amazingly soft mouthfeel and it just it just slides down really easy and really quick. It's it's really um, a real drinkable IPA, this. It's a, it's a little bit of lemon on the back end, I'd say. I wouldn't even say it was going as close as a sort of grapefruit sharpness. There's a slight sharpness on the background, but it's more of a lemon. But really no bitterness at all. Soft as you like. Really smooth, really good. I'm giving it a 35 for flavour. Value for money. Well, I think this was about four and a half pounds. So it's not the cheapest IPA, but you know, we've, we've paid more. But I'm giving it a seven out of 10 for value. And then my overall experience, well, I think it's a cracking beer. I'm, I'm gonna tr drink more beer from Whiplash, whether it's St Paddy's Day or not. One to watch out for. Uh, I know they do quite a few different IPAs and pal owls. Um, I'm not sure if they do sours and stouts as well. But, you know, they're a fairly small brewery based in Dublin. Um, and I think I like, love the artwork. So I'll be looking out for more, more from them. Overall experience, I'm going to give it 15 because I think it's a real cracking beer. So we top those scores up and we get a damn good 81. 81 for this. It's an Iron Maiden beer. It's the heaviest of heavy metal. Yeah, I mean, if it's from Dublin, you you, you want it to be more of a Gary Moore or a Finn Lizzy or another Irish band that I can't think of off the top of my head. But it's a good beer. So if you see Whiplash, give them a try. Pretty good. And until the next one, happy St Paddy's Day and keep on rocking.